Alright guys, back again for another review. Big Tom. Daimyo. Today we're going to be doing The Shield by Needleworks. Yeah, Needleworks is a, a profile name on uh, UKV. I think the actual real modder's name is uh, Fraser. But um, he's designed this mod, or he did a little while ago, to complement his KFUN 3.1 ES. And it's basically made out of um, a, a big block of billet. And uh, your KFUN 3.1 ES, or really any 22 to 23 mil um, atomizers, will fit inside. Basically, you have a 510 connection down here, um, and you slide in your uh, atomizer. It takes an 18650 um, battery, um, has a little LED behind the uh, atomizer as well, so it glows from like red to uh, blue to green, um, which is pretty cool. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's I think it's great. It's a great mod, um, and I really like it. Been after one of these for a while. I think there were only about 20 made because the guy was um, obviously just a single guy, just a, a modder um, with a machinist who, who made them, and probably because of time constraints or money issues or, or whatever, I don't know. He isn't actually making them at this time, but there are some about. Um, I was lucky enough to get this on a trade with uh, Mr. Paul Lord from Mrs. Lord's um, Juice and Co. Big up to you, Paul. Thank you very much, mate. Um, because I love the look of this mod. I love box mods. Um, they, they are pretty much my uh, thing at the moment. And, um, yeah, I was lucky enough to get one. When they were um, being made, I think they were about 110 to 120 mm. quid delivered. Um, and uh, it is a really cool, solid piece of kit. Um, I've, I've put a few things in it. The Rose does fit in this. The Typhoon GT does fit in this. A Scrape fits in this. But it was predominantly made for a KFUN 3.1 ES. And in such a way that you can actually adjust the 510 a small bit so that you can get your fill hole, your airflow, and um, yeah, just those bits at the front, um, basically. <laughs> so you can adjust your airflow and fill it from the front as well. Um, yeah, and I think it's top draw. I really do like it. I do like it. It's well, really well built. It's just one solid piece. It's kind of stealthy to say. It's kind of bulky though, um, and it is not too heavy. But you definitely know you've got it in your pocket, so you're not going to lose it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's sort of like the modders version of the VTR, but as a mechanical. The VTR does actually have the mod, um, the atties that fit inside of it, um, but they have to be under 20 mil. Um, this is kind of like the same design, um, but obviously mainly for made for a K-Fun. Um, it's a lot more sort of sleek. Um, it's not as heavy as a VTR. A VTR obviously is made from brass, chrome plated brass, so it's a heavy motherfucker. <laughs> um, this is made of aluminium, so it's a bit lighter and it's not too, it's not uncomfortable. Uh, and it really is a stunning piece of kit. The button is lovely. You've got a little gap there to sort of groove your finger in for the button. It's really nice and easy to push. Um, it's good to hold in the hand and um, yeah, I'm a massive fan. I was really quite quite lucky to get one in a trade and I was after one for ages and they are rocking horse shit to get because there was only about 20 of them made. Um, I've, not, I've, I've heard rumours that he might be making some more but nothing has come to light yet. Um, but if you get a chance to grab one of these bad boys in a trade, I would recommend it because they are fucking fantastic. Especially with your KFUN 3.1 ES in there. It finally makes a KFUN 3.1 ES not look like a giant. <laughs> because it's inside the mod, which is great. So it's got good solid protection for your atomizer as well. Yeah, it is beautiful. It is awesomely well, well built. So if there is going to be some mod coming out, I'd definitely give this a shot. But at the minute, it is like rocking our shit to get 20 mid, so you better have something nice to trade for it or a bit of cash for it. Yep. What we'll do now is we'll go down to the table, let you have a little look around the mod, um, show you inside where the battery goes and um, and the bottom as well. And uh, we'll come back and give you our final thoughts. Okay. So here you have your shield uh, made by Needleworks. This great big solid piece of aluminium here. Originally it comes in a sort of a brushed, dulled finish, um, but I've started to polish this up to get it not nice more shiny. Um, take the KFUN 3.1 ES out, which just simply screws into the 510 connection down through this hole here. Button is here, nice and easy clicky button. And as you can see, when you push the button, you get this rather nice LED that shines through the tank and changes colour. 
from red to green to blue there like that. Where you place your battery is in the top which is nice and flush with the rest of the device. You do, or you did when these came out, got an aluminium coin with it um, to basically undo this section here. But um, this was got in a trade, so I didn't get the coin. But any coin will do, or even your finger if you don't really want it tightened up too tight. You just take this off and there is your battery, your 18650. To make connection there, it has a spring on the uh, top cap like so. Take the battery out and you have a uh, brass connection sort of nozzle at the bottom there, but I'll show you more when I take off the bottom. Um, with a lot of batteries that I've used, apart from AWIMRs, there is some rattle. So I've just simply put a uh, magnetic spacer in there um, to stop the rattle, but uh, I haven't had a problem with it since then. On the back you can see the join from uh, where the two pieces were put together. You could actually sand that down and get rid of it. Um, you do have some vent holes there in case you're unfortunate enough to get a battery that vents gas. On the bottom you'll see you have these two Allen key screws in there. Simply find an Allen key and unscrew them to get inside the mod to either give it a clean or any repairs you might need to do with the spring inside. There you have on the bottom, you have your spring to make your connection there, obviously your battery hole again, and here is where you make your connection. The flat part of this um, piece is meant to go where the spring is, so uh, putting it in the wrong way around, um, not necessarily a good thing. You want it there, so basically this connects to your battery, this sort of large indent there. There you have your spring to make your connection, and to give it a clean or whatever you might need to do. And it just fits back on like so and you screw back in your allen key screws job done now it is made from uh, aluminium so it does scratch a good one so uh, you can maintain in it just by using a bit of a wire wall and to uh, get the scratches out or do what i'm doing and just going to get it nice and polished and shined Now this was specifically designed by Needleworks uh, to use with his KFUN 3.1 ES. So, it, but it does take obviously other 22mm and 23mm atomizers. With the KFUN, you can actually adjust the uh, 510 pin as well here a little bit, and obviously with the uh, 510 connection on your KFUN, so you can actually get your fill hole, your air holes, and that to align at the front if you want to, or you can get your Sfomesto sign to align at the front if you want to. Even with the air holes at the back of the mod, I still get enough airflow through, he says, without putting the fucking battery in. Put that back in now. Yeah, so I still get enough airflow through, even with the airflow facing the back of the mod. And it's a nice enough pull. So yeah, there it is, your shield by Needleworks. A uh, great solid piece of gear, really complements that K-Fun well, but it will take other 22mm atomizers like a Rose, like a uh, Typhon GT, like a, a Scrape, um, or any of those, or a 23mm mod like those. And uh, yeah, there it is, really nice piece of kit um, and uh, a great box mod, big fan. All right guys, so after looking at the shield up close, it's not like a shield at all. Don't know why they called it the shield. Well, they called it a shield because it protects the K-Fan. Do you know what I mean? That's that's kind of the impression I got because your, your, your K-Fan goes inside and it sort of protects it as well as uh, being a mod. Um, yeah, I mean, it, you saw there, it, it, it's quite a simplistic mod, really. You just put your battery in and Bob's your uncle. Um, I do love the little quirky LED inside. I do love the way um, the K-Fan fits in there. It is absolutely stunning. Um, this originally comes in like a brushed finish, but um, I've started polishing it up. I want to get a nice shined finish. Um, mm -hmm. If you use some 800 wet and dry or something like that, you're going to be able to get that shined finish. But it is aluminium um, and, it, and, it, and it is billet, so it will scratch like a complete motherfucker. Um, so you will have to kind of look after it. But um, when it comes in the original brushed finish, you just use a bit of wire wall to get some of them scratches out if you, if you make them. Um, but yeah. £110 these were, which I think is a fantastic price for what it is. Um, you, you're going to pay a lot more for some mechanical mods. 
Um, but to have something that really complements a K Fun 3.1 ES and to finally make a K Fun 3.1 S look, look like the biggest bitch in the world, um, <laughs> it's great. Um, when they did come out, they originally they had this little aluminium sort of coin thing that you use to undo the uh, battery compartment here. But you can use a normal coin. I didn't get my aluminium uh, coin with mine. I think Paul lost it. But you know, life goes on. <laughs> <laughs> well, bye bye. A coin works. Um, yeah, you also need an Allen key to remove the bottom. Um, obviously, if you need to do any cleaning, and you can change the battery from the bottom, but it's a lot easier from the top. Um, it does have a spring in the bottom as well. Um, the battery can go in either way. Um, I did find though with a couple of my batteries I had to put a spacer in because there was a bit of a rattle. Um, the AWIMRs 18650 fit fine but um, the E-Fest I needed a little spacer in there to stop the um, rattle. Um, but yeah it's a very solid, very cool looking um, device that uh, I think is going to be a keeper for me. I keep saying that. I'm going to keep fucking everything I get. I'm just going to have a room full of mods and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Stepping over. <laughs> Treading on bits of aluminium and fucking <laughs> billet boxes and God knows what, but yeah. So um, yeah, you can't get this. <laughs> I got one. You can get it probably. There are some that go up for trade, but I think there was one on uh, a little while ago went up for trade, and the geezer was asking like two hundred quid for it um, and things like that because obviously at the moment they're not being made, mm -hmm. so it makes them highly sought after. Um, but they are coming up in trade. I see a few at the moment coming up and people wanting a billet box for it. Um, obviously, there's another piece of rocking horse shit there. So it's rocking horse shit trade time uh, with these mods. But yeah, that's the shield. Needleworks, make some more. <laughs> Feed the world with your shields. You know, K-Fun lovers are plenty out there that do want one of these, and that's so rightly so. It is a fantastic mod, you should be damn proud, I really like it, and uh, yeah, um, like being a box mod fan, this is a... Uh, I haven't stopped using this um, for a week since I've had it, and I really like it. And like I said, most 22mm and 23mm atties are going to fit in this, as long as well as the uh, other ones. I've had a spheroid in this, and it still looks quite cool. But uh, even the Rose V1 fires and works in this, the Rose pokes out the top a little bit more. Because this was made strictly for the k fun. it fits nice and flush at the top. But a Rose does work in this, a Scrape does work in this, a Typhon GT, a little bit chunky, but it goes in there nice and snug. Um, and yeah, there it is, the Shield by Needleworks. Go on, British mod maker. Awesome. Be jubbly. Yeah. Just before we go, just before I cut you up. Oh, I cut just me wanna, up. Just You're going to cut me up? Sorry. That's a bit harsh. I do apologise. Yeah. I just want to give a big shout out to the guys on the Save a Vapor group and a big shout out to the Google Pluses. Uh, thanks, guys, for supporting us and uh, we're going to keep these reviews coming for you guys. So thank you very much for the support. Such a media whore. <laughs> Such a social media whore. <laughs> thank you, guys. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> I'd like to thank Facebook, all my fans. We don't have fans, I've told no. you this. Supporters. Supporters. He says fans when the camera's <laughs> Look at all my fans. <laughs> not in that accent, but that's my accent. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this review, and uh, we will see you on the next one. Stay safe. <laughs>